As the horses for the fourth race come posted, we'll tell you there are many interesting aspects to this race. We mentioned at the top of the show about the numerous shippings from Toronto and elsewhere around Ontario and the Midwest. The number five horse is one of the great aged invitational pacers from our province of Ontario. His name is Pro Fighter in reign to Dave Wall a driver who perennially wins upwards of 300 races, driving all right here in Ontario. Also, the number two horse, I think, is uh, a bit of a long shot for what he really should be. His name is Shadow's Fling, and he took a life's record of 157 in the Invitational ranks here last year. The number one horse is also a Toronto ship-in by the name of Proud Heritage, and he has been made the odds-on favourite. So uh, we're going to see if the odds-on favourite uh, is, in fact, the best in this field. It should be a great one. The class of the race is for non-winners of 4,000 their last five starts. If I had to put a claiming tag on these horses, I'd say they're uh, worth in the fifty dollars to $60,000 range. Let's see how it turns out with Marty's call. This fourth race now has a horse in it. Uh, in from the jockey club again, who is on the board as the favorite. The number one horse, Proud Heritage, at 4 to 5. Here's a horse that uh, made 36000 last year, well-bred. He's by Governor Skipper out of a bread Hanover mare. Qualified against a horse that won a big race at Hazel Park, Morning Joy. Proud Heritage making his third start this year. Fourth race moving through the backstretch. And there they go. They're off and facing. It's Proud Heritage on the inside, driving out for the lead. Charging up on the far outside comes High Viscosity. High Viscosity on the outside now to take over. Proud Heritage on the inside, paces up second. Moving up on the inside now, third around the turn is Shadows Fling. And make that hit time as they pace on around the turn with the lead now, High Viscosity by one. Proud Heritage is second, hit time moves up third on the inside, fourth. Around the turn is Hope to Trot. They reach the quarter in 29 and four. Facing off the turn of the stretch, it's High Viscosity on top by two. Proud Heritage on the inside, second, hit time third. Now Hope to Trot heads to the outside as they pass it from the grandstand. With the lead, now on the inside, it's High Viscosity charging up on the outside. Is hit time to take over the lead. Hope to Trot moves up right behind as the horses pace to the clubhouse turn. It's hit time with the lead by one. High Viscosity paces up second. On the outside, Hope to Trot, they're at the half in a minute and one-fifth. Pacing on around the paddock turn with the lead by two lengths. It's hit time. On the inside second is High Viscosity. Hope to Trot on the outside third. On the outside fourth as they straighten out down the back stretch is Energy Fuel. They're heading for the three-quarter pull. With the lead by two lengths, it's hit time on the outside. Now Hope to Trot is second. In at the rail pacing third, High Viscosity. The horses reach the three quarters in one twenty-nine and one. Moving on around the turn, it's hit time, stretching out to a two-length lead. High Viscosity on the inside second. Hope to Trot races third as they pace off the turn into the stretch. Hit time with the lead. High Viscosity is second. Racing third, Proud Heritage as they move off the turn into the stretch. Hit time with the lead. Racing up on the outside, now comes Proud Heritage. On through the stretch, it's hit time with Proud Heritage on the outside, taking the lead, and here they are. Proud Heritage ends up as the heavy favorite, going off at 4-5, to five, but he almost blows this one, winning it in 158-4. and four. Hit time finishing second at 9-2, to two, and Pro Fighter finishing third. Ted uh, Jacobs leaving the winner's circle right now with this Governor Skipper Colt. He almost blew it because he didn't know the inexpensive horses that were in this race. He almost got trapped in until the hole opened up at the head of the lane, and out he blew. Proud Heritage is tight now and ready to go back to Greenwood and win there as well. He wins it over number three hit time. Proud Heritage returned 380, 320, 280. Number three hit time 490, 380. And the five horse Pro Fighter 630. The Exactor 1430 and the Triactor paid 137.30.